I got no direct response from Ray. Um, I did speak to him. So I published a letter the day before an event here in LA called Summit, which is, uh, they call it an ideas festival, but it's basically um, a convention for entrepreneurs and high net worth individuals, things like that. So Ray was speaking at the event and I, uh, I got there early, got in the front row, waited right beside the microphone for his Q&A after the event. And I was fortunate enough to ask him the first question. And in a very long-winded form, I basically said, in a world where central banks have totally compromised the scarcity function of money, how do you see the absolute scarcity of Bitcoin playing into that? And Ray gave this very intelligent and eloquent response about the macroeconomic situation and how we got to where we are today uh, with central banking. But then he gave this very ill-informed um, response to Bitcoin, basically saying it was too volatile to be a medium of exchange or store value, which is like, you know, an argument from 2013 that's been refuted a million times. So I think with Ray, he just hasn't gone to first principles on money. And that's why he doesn't understand Bitcoin. Um, but I, although I haven't received a direct response from him besides that event, I have spoken with a few people at Bridgewater about it. And, you know, word on the street is he's looking at it very closely. He's not maybe uh, explicitly a Bitcoin investor yet, but I think it's there's a very high likelihood he holds a position. I mean, he's a billionaire too, right? He has to see it as an insurance policy, just like every, every other um, economic actor we've discussed today.